Okay, cool. Hi, everyone. We're having a nice uh, early spring day today, and so it's 2.30 in the afternoon, uh, early April 2021, so we're going to do another little uh, neighborhood visit. The only difference with this one is we really don't have any idea what the little neighborhood is called. We <laughs> think it might be part of Westmoreland Heights. Just to let you know, beside us on the left here is uh, part of Rockwood Park, and there's camping up there that overlooks the city. Yes. Sorry. So Did you hi everyone. It's <laughs> I never get a word in edgewise, so I'm glad that I was able to interrupt from there. <laughs> yes, I'm used to that by now. <laughs> so yeah, we're doing a East Side neighborhood. Some people just I think it's been referred to just as East St. John. Some it might be Westmoreland Heights. I don't know, but it's close to everything. So it's close to the uh, Atlantic Superstore, which is the very popular uh, grocery store. It's relatively close to the whole east side shopping district. It's relative, very close actually to Uptown. And that's it straight ahead actually. Yeah, that's it perched up on a hill. We're going to be driving through it a little bit. It's a small neighborhood there, but we're going to give it a shot. We've uh, driven through there once before, so we're not as unfamiliar with it as we were with some of the other neighborhoods. <laughs> But uh, we were quite impressed with it, so we figured why not do a little video. So Yes. Now off to the left here is your superstore and your staples. Or the right. Or sorry, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the right. Um, as you all know, I'm quite relaxed in my semi-retirement and I don't always think things through. Yes, he is absolutely right. To my right. Superstore, the pot store. They sell beer there. So if we were to go straight, we would hit Redhead, which we have done in another video. Be sure to check it out. If we were to turn right, we would end up uptown. We're going to turn left. And this is Loch Lomond Road. We're not going to be on here very long, but Loch Lomond Road further up has been featured on some of our other recent videos. We are instead turning uh, left again, or right, depending on what your perspective <laughs> is, onto Westmoreland uh, is it Avenue Road? I don't know. Somebody corrected me on that once before. Just a, a reminder to uh, people who watch these videos. We are not from here, although we love St. John very much, which is why we do these videos. So please, um, please forgive our mispronunciations and some of our, um, you know, uh, some of our other, I don't know. Missteps. Uh, missteps. Yes, exactly. Um, but anyways, these are some beautiful areas um, on the east side. So straight ahead is the whole east um, shopping district, but we're going to be turning left up here somewhere. Uh, but two minutes up the road, you've got all of the east side commercial area that we had also taken a video of. So we're turning left here onto Northumberland uh, Avenue. There's a graveyard straight ahead on our left. I'm not sure if you can see it from here, but it's called Fern Hill Funeral or um, Cemetery and it goes on for miles and it's just gorgeous uh, how um, how much space it actually takes up. Like it just goes on forever. It's one of the largest uh, graveyards in St. John. And it's just super, super nice. Uh, I love graveyards. I just love walking through them. It's very uh, relaxing for me. So now we're on the bluff that we were showing you at the beginning of the, uh, the video. We're going to follow it down here. But this is a very nice neighborhood, family oriented. There are quite a few duplexes uh, and small apartment homes. But nice spot, very convenient. Great bus service from here. I think there's several different routes that pass by here. And it's considered definitely one of those middle of the road uh, neighborhoods. So great, it's family oriented. But look at those views straight ahead. So uh, across the highway there on that bluff is Rockwood Park. And you'll see one of our videos on that as well. But yeah, it's a pretty nice little neighborhood and you get some really nice views from up here because it is on a hillside. And the one thing we've noticed is that when the homes come up for sale in this area, they're usually quite reasonably priced. Yeah, they get scooped pretty fast though. They do. 
a lot of them will have like mortgage helpers, basement suites, that sort of thing. Yeah, so this place on our right popular. was for sale not too long ago for like 209000 with a, a second, it was fully furnished and it was a, had a second uh, identical suite on the bottom. And it has a great view of Rockwood Park. So a really good investment value. Yeah. But great place to live. So these uh, homes here, they have a great view of Uptown and I'll show you here as soon as we get to a place where I can show you the view. Um, but you can see Uptown here with the distance. So these are uh, these homes here are up on a bit of a hill from where we are. So I can't really see Uptown from here, sweetie. Um, so it would clear the, uh, the trees that you have here and you'd get a really good view of Uptown. I can't really get it in this video, sorry. Just trust me, they do. Stop closing the window, I'm freaking stifling in here. Yeah, well the wind is going to affect your, your audio. That's okay, they'll forgive me. You don't want me hot and bothered. <laughs> Just your uh, average run-of-the-mill homes. There's, uh, they're not really the maritime architecture. They all look like they're kind of built in the late 60s, 70s, that kind of thing. But a good location because you are close to pretty much anything you'd want to be near. So very close to all the shopping. Very close to uh, bus routes. Look at that little home behind there. It's nice. Um, and uh, you know you're gonna get in these homes you're gonna get a uh, nice insulation as well for the winter so your heating bills won't be too high because they look like they're relatively on the newer side of things any of you NBCC people uh, when you're looking for rents try to find something that includes heat a lot of them do here some of them include heat and electricity some is just heat but it will save you a lot of money, even if you pay a little more in rent. Uh, get something that includes heat, because it'll save you a lot of money in the long run than paying for it yourself. I'm so nice here. I think if I were to, if I had to live in the east, I think this would be one of the neighborhoods I would consider for sure, just because it's not near the refinery, and there's some nice views, and it's very middle of the road. And it just has a really nice feel to it. So we're going to uh, head back up to the main street, which again was Westmoreland uh, Avenue. I don't know. Westmoreland anyway. So this is McLaughlin Crescent that we were driving on. East side, near east. And we'll just turn on to Westmoreland. We'll take a quick uh, drive by the cemetery that Wendy was talking about. And we'll sign off then. Just a nice short video for you today. Westmoreland Road. Not there you Avenue. go. Now this is a busier street because it is the main axis or one of the main axes to the east side commercial area. Also very uh, good for bus access though. Look, that house right in front of us was for sale and it sold. Yeah, it was I think 149,000, something like oh that. Oh my gosh, that's so inexpensive. Like where in the country can you find a home for $150,000, like really? Don't quote me on it, but I think that's what it was. Nice here too, you've got a traffic light so you don't have to worry about uh, trying to cut across a busy street. Now these homes along here have a little more character. They're a little on the older side. I always like that uh, that style of home. Like look at that on the left here. It's gorgeous. But I definitely like the older homes. But with the older homes there's more problems. So it's a trade off I guess. So this is Fern Hill Cemetery. And it just goes on forever. So 
So that's the end of our video for today. Wait, we'll wait until we get around the corner here and you can see how close it is to all the shopping. Okay. Yeah. That's not the end of our video <laughs> for today. So all to the left here is all that cemetery and then you'll see it um, past this Fundy uh, funeral home here. And uh, so it just goes on forever. It's a nice walk if you're into that kind of thing. I love cemeteries like I had said before. Um, no, I'm not weird, but I just find them peaceful. And any, if any of you are budding undertakers, uh, I think you'll have a good career here. <laughs> yeah. Lots of Catholics in town from the potato famine when uh, we got an influx of, um, uh, you know, Irish uh, immigrants in the 1840s. Uh, so, oh, there's a funeral right there. Oh, that's kind of... That's not morbid filming that. I know, I know. Sorry about that. So, um, lots of uh, Catholics and so lots of um, graveyards. That's about it. So we're just going to turn this corner here and then you'll see more graveyards <laughs> to the right. Um, and this one is quite large as well. Uh, but straight ahead, that's the shopping district. So now we can sign off. So that's the end of our video for today. <laughs> All right. So thanks for joining us again. Don't forget to join our Facebook group. Uh, I love St. John, comma, NB. Um, for more information and if you want to reach out to us you can reach out to us there in the meantime we love st john have a great day